Clashes and chaos in Rio. Eviction had been expected for days, but this is how it was carried out. Police used tear gas and stun grenades to disperse families. Desperate parents tried to protect their children. Roughly 5,000 people had occupied an abandoned building in northern Rio 10 days ago. Police arrived early with eviction orders and say the clashes started after some squatters started to fight back. Protesters set fire to vehicles and threw rocks at policemen. Officers responded forcefully. An official spokesman said the operation went as planned and followed standard procedures. Several people were injured. Residents here cry out for others to film what's happening while this woman is carried out. The squatters left carrying out their few belongings with which they had been hoping to build a new home. They accused the police of violence. The police came in breaking everything, throwing everyone out. Thank God I had my son in my lap. Nothing happened to us, but I don't know about the others. Why are we here? We lost our home to the floods after a landslide, and we came to try it out to see if we could get a home, because we can't live in other people's houses begging favors. In just 10 days, occupants had divided the area up into tiny plots and started to build. Some shacks already had illegal power connections. The land belongs to a telecoms company, but had already been dubbed Rio's newest favela. Julia Carneiro, BBC News, Rio de Janeiro.